So let's talk about just some of these trends that we talked about, right? We talked about lower cost, size, power. It, it really all hinges about integration. It can be better materials for integration. Um, you may or may not have heard of silicon photonics. I'll, I'll talk a few slides on that. Um, a lot of the attention is, is, is on you know, how to go faster, so basically fewer components. How do you get things to go faster and faster? And PAM modulation is a good example of that. And these are not independent. We're obviously trying to figure out how to go faster in silicon photonics. Um, you know, we're, we're bringing all these things together. So silicon photonics is, is kind of the, the exciting thing in optics has been probably for the past eight years or so, it's kind of burst onto the scene. And, and the promise of silicon photonics is it, it's doing extremely well, but it hasn't taken over the world. Right? But, but why are people excited about silicon photonics? Um, it's because what I was telling you about everything that we build is based on silicon. Um, as an industry, the silicon ecosystem is massive. So if we can figure out how to control optics in silicon, then in theory, some of the advantages and the scale that we get from the, from the silicon technology um, plays into, into the optics. Um, so this is the whole point. Can we go and somehow control the light um, within, the, within the silicon? And, and this is what we can do. So silicon photonics is, is exactly that. Um, the one thing that we can do is we can generate light. So we can create a laser in the silicon, although there's a lot of uh, interesting research going on in that space. But so somehow we've got to figure out how to get the light into it. But once we get the light into it and we create these waveguides that run around on the wafer, we, we know how to guide the light. We know how to modulate the light. We know how to detect the light. Um, we know how to put it all together, and, and we do it at, at a wafer level, right? So we can, once we have these designs, you have a big wafer, 12-inch wafer, you can have all these designs on it, cut them all up, it's all very cheap in, in theory. Um, it's, it, it's very promising, we're seeing it everywhere. Um, it, it's, it's having a lot of impact into a lot of the low-cost stuff, especially at the higher speeds where the traditional ways of packaging things together are getting more and more difficult to go do never count out those things out, but this is one of the, the kind of the exciting innovations that's happening right now. It's playing itself out on the client optic space. It's playing itself out in the line side space as well. Um, you know, the promise of getting, you know, the advantage here being, you know, the, the power, the speed to modulate and the power to modulate is a lot lower. Um, you don't have to worry about coupling all these things together because it's all intrinsically coupled at a lithographic level. Um, it, it's very exciting technology. It, it's not yet taken over the world, but um, depending on which company you work for, uh, you're, you're certainly hopeful that it will. Um, 